Hey friends, today we are hanging out in the Magic Kingdom. I just got back from Disneyland Paris and it was amazing, but it's great to be back home here in Walt Disney World. Since I've been away, there have been new things popping up all around the resort, and then even Magic Kingdom added a whole bunch of new snacks. So I figured we'd come on out, ride some rides, eat some food, and have a beautiful Magic Kingdom kind of day. Anywho's, Let's go do this. And there she is, Cinderella Castle. Isn't she a beaut, Clark? It's good to be home. Definitely nicer weather. As much as I love Disneyland Paris, Florida and Disney World will always be home to me and it's always gonna have a special place in my heart. But I think at the end of the video, I might recap my Disneyland Paris trip with you guys. Just sit down and maybe talk about some things that I loved and also some things I really didn't like that much. I thought that would be kind of fun. Like I mentioned, there's a lot of new things happening all around the Walt Disney World Resort and the 50th anniversary has officially ended. So they took off the 50th emblem and also removed the water from around the castle. Looks like they're just doing some renovations. But I wonder where that door goes to right there. Do you see that? There's like a little hidden door on the back side of the castle right down there. One of the new treats that I heard that they released here at the Magic Kingdom is the gray stuff that used to be served over at Gaston's Tavern and they brought it back. So I'm so excited. I've been really wanting to try the gray stuff because it is so delicious. Normally, I don't just jump right back to Fantasyland, but I'm kind of feeling like it's a Fantasyland kind of day. So this is where we're going to start the day off at. Being in Europe for over two weeks made me forget that Florida is like hot, like hot, hot. The weather over there was just always cold and breezy and 10 minutes into the park here and I'm already sweating bullets. I completely kind of uh, forgot that this is just everyday life when you live here. But here we are, Gaston's Tavern, and we're going to see about trying some of the new treats, especially the gray stuff. Like I said, they used to serve it here, and now it's back. The gray stuff is back. You can also get the gray stuff if you dine at Be Our Guest, the Beauty and the Beast themed restaurant, but this is a lot cheaper. It costs like $67 to eat there. We come here and you can just get a little cupcake for like five bucks, and I don't know why they took it away. It was such a popular item, but I'm happy to see it back. And there it is, the gray stuffed cupcake, $5.79. They also have the warm cinnamon roll. That's just a classic here though, it's so good. Definitely ask for extra icing if you get that. But today, it's just the gray stuff for us. The wildlife over here by Gaston's Tavern is pretty amazing. I hear all different birds chirping, I can hear an owl. It's very fascinating. And here it is, the Gray Stuff Cupcake. I don't know if this is any different from the one they used to have here, but it looks amazing. Of course, you got the Gray Stuff that's on the top there, and it kind of reminds me of a cookies and cream taste. Like, that's what I kind of like think of when I eat it, but it is so amazing. And I wonder if they actually have the Gray Stuff in the middle of the cupcake itself. I feel like that would be a nice little, a nice little touch. If you can listen in the background, you might hear some of the uh, very fancy bird calls happening. But we're going to cut right down the center of this, and we're going to see if there's any gray stuff in the middle. I kind of don't want to cut it, though. Oh. I think I might have butchered this. Oh, I can't tell. It's falling apart. You're falling apart. It is so funny because usually when I get a cupcake, I want to have equal parts icing and equal parts like cupcake, but not this. I just want all the icing. I want all of the gray stuff. And here we go, our first bite of the gray stuff. I can't wait. It is so good, literally the best icing on a cupcake it's just so good and then be our guest they just serve it in a little chip cup a little edible chip i think it's like a white chocolate thing i think so and it is just so i just love the icing i can that's all i need i if they just serve this like as a side i would just get it also i don't think they have the gray stuff in the center i don't know i can't tell it kind of fell apart so quick it fell apart real quick. Oh my lord, I almost lost it. Hanging on the edge there, hanging on the edge. All right, enough of the cupcake business. Even though I have to say that might be one of the best cupcakes I've ever had. And if you have never tried the gray stuff, 
do it because you will not regret it. And we're going to move along, make our way uh, kind of towards uh, Tomorrowland. As I was making my way in the direction of Tomorrowland, I stopped at the Friar's Nook because they have some new tots here. They actually have a curry brat tots. Tots topped with chopped bratwurst, curry ketchup, and apple slaw. I'm kind of intrigued by this, but they also have a hand pie, like an apple pie. So I think we're going to get ourselves a little pie and a little brat, a little tot, a little curry. Pie, brat, tot, curry. Say that fast enough and kind of sounds like a different language. Pie top curry brat, not a top hop, a nop. And here they are. This actually looks amazing. And I'm not a big fan of ketchup, so I'm hoping that the curry is like a little bit overpowering, or if they had like maybe some curry seasoning on there as well. But I'm also really intrigued in the apple pie. Looks like it's like cinnamon sugar dusted and then the pecan sauce on top or like the icing. I can't wait to crack that open, but uh, I think we'll start we'll start with the tots first and there's a lot of brat on there. It's like they literally just pull out a brat and then just cut up the whole brat and throw it on top. Okay, let's dive into these tots here, but let me know in the comments if you guys know what I was talking about when I said uh, it kind of sounds like a different language. When I said not be top pop a not. Let me know in the comments what I just said if you understood. And uh, yeah, got a nice top with all of it on there. Some of the applesauce, some of the curry ketchup, and of course the brat. Can't forget the brat. I was hoping for like a different seasoning on the top, but there isn't any. The brat is really good. I'm not the biggest fan of the ketchup though. The slaw is okay though. I mean, this is a unique thing. I think this actually replaced the buffalo tots that used to be on the menu. And those were very popular. So it's got a lot of expectations to live up to here. And now we have to get ourselves, well, we have to crack on into this pie here. And of course, we're gonna have to break open this pie like we, we got to see what's in the middle well we know it's apple but we want to see what it looks like let me put my container right in the right way oh look at that that looks like good apple pie almost like a tasty cake apple pie i do love me tasty cake there we go all right let's get into this let's get in this this is very very good i wish the shell was a little softer though it's kind of crispy but if it was like hot and fresh, I don't think it was that hot. Like either, it's kind of like a little bit warm, but if this was like hot and fresh out the kitchen, then it was probably gonna be 10 times better. But it's still actually really delicious. I like the cinnamon sugar, the apple compo has a good flavor to it, but it's just not hot and fresh. Hot and fresh straight from the kitchen. But don't get it twisted, just cause I said I wish it was hotter, doesn't mean I don't like it because I do like this a lot. In fact, you know what would be really good to get some Dole Whip? or some like uh, vanilla sauce serve and make like uh, apple pie a la mode with it. That would be actually really good. I kind of, oh, well, you know. <laughs> I almost made an executive decision to go get some ice cream for this, but we'll save that for another day. Another day, another time. Both of these were great and you can find them at the Friar's Nook, but uh, I would have to say I probably, I like this one a little bit more. I like this one a little bit more. I think this one isn't as good as the Buffalo Tots. Okay, well now I think it's time we go ride a ride. I'm kind of thinking maybe head on over to Frontierland. I would love to ride Big Thunder Mountain because I'm sad I didn't get to ride it one more time before I left Disneyland Paris. That Big Thunder Mountain was incredible. So I kind of want to just go ride it here and then also just kind of explore the area all around Frontierland. As we make our way through Frontierland, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the construction on Tiana's Bayou Adventure and then also talk about how they were, uh, well there's rumors, and I've known this for a while, about a New Orleans Square actually coming here. And I can see them doing it, and they actually have the top of Splash Mountain already gone there. It's turning into Tiana's Bayou Adventure, a little bit piece by piece. It was awesome that my friend Ryan was able to join up with me. Now I have someone to ride rides with. And he has a YouTube channel called For the Love of Theme Parks. And you guys should check out his videos. They are so entertaining. I'll put a link for his channel in the description. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're going to keep moving along and uh, keep exploring the park a little bit. Looks like Big Thunder Mountain Railroad is a 45 minute wait. It's outdoors though, like the queue's outdoors. So it might be longer, but... 
I'm willing to risk it for the biscuit. And like I said, I'm really upset that I didn't get it to do it one more, one more time at Disneyland Paris. It was just about a 30 minute wait, which honestly, I thought it was gonna be a lot longer, especially because it was outside, but now it's time to ride. Here comes our train and it is UB Daring. Oh, look at that. You be daring. <laughs> daring. I didn't know they had a name. Oh, boy. We lost something. <laughs> my phone already fell out of my pocket. Luckily, Ryan's riding with me because he saved it. You're my hero. Hey, you're welcome. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm actually hanging on to the side so I don't body check you. <laughs> oh. And that was the wildest ride in the wilderness. Yeah. <laughs> Big Thunder was so much fun. I can't believe I like my phone fell out of my pocket, then my car keys, then my extra battery. Usually I don't have that issue because I wear like cargo shorts or other stuff like that, but I'm actually wearing some fancy shorts and they've got loose pockets or I don't know what's the difference, but it was just falling right out like it didn't stand a chance. But I loved the ride, it was great to ride and uh, I wish I could have done Disneyland Paris's one more time. But this'll do, that'll do. Let me know guys in the comments though, would you be excited to have a New Orleans Square? So this would be New Orleans Square from what I can tell, including by uh, Tiana's Bayou Adventure. And then the other road would continue Frontierland. And then all of this would be like Tiana's place. So, I mean, I want some Mickey beignets. I want some gumbo. I want some jambalaya. I want everything here. So I'm 100% I'm on board for this, 100. We're gonna keep moving along and I wanna make my way over to Tomorrowland like we were gonna do earlier. Maybe ride the People Mover and see if there's any other food items over there. It's funny because we were gonna go there before and then we got distracted and uh, kinda just ended up over in Frontierland. And I'm not mad about it. I kinda like the way it goes. Good old Tomorrowland. In Disneyland Paris, they had Discovery Land, not Tomorrowland, but this one is way much better, way bigger. Just a couple of attractions over there were a little bit better than these ones. I'm thinking maybe since we're heading over to Tomorrowland, a ride on the Paper Mover sounds pretty fancy. So we might actually make our way there first. Oh, here is our trusty mode of transportation. Oh, we got the one with the Mickey sticker on it. Ah. I love how the Astro Orbiter is just hitting the sun right at the right time there. That was kind of pretty. I was trying to catch it faster, but it was very nice. Look at this view of the castle. That's the one right there. So good, especially when you come for the fireworks. Oh, it's such a beautiful day. Looks like we're actually stopped for a second. And may I say this is probably on the high end of the rides I would love to actually walk off because you actually walk the track itself. So that would be really cool. I mean, maybe. Like inside the vehicle? Ah, oh, 
I guess we aren't. No. It would have been the perfect view for people watching too. We got Tron over there. I wonder if our boarding group's ever gonna get called. Oh, there it goes. Looks very busy down there. And we're going by slower than usual. Actually, I think we're gonna stop again. This is such a slow ride through here. Attention all visitors from Galaxy M31. Please keep forward facing tentacles clear of oncoming vehicles. Thank you. We got stopped. Oh, uh -oh. the lights are on. We got stopped on the inside. We got quiet. <laughs> We're just hanging out above Buzz. You can actually see people down there. <laughs> I wonder what the high score if you hit some of the ones that are up here. Those ones are not as high as some of the others. I think this is not even 100,000. I think that's like 50,000 for the Really? The one at oh. the bottom of Zerg's ship in the, the next scene, that one's 100k. Hey, hey, those are secrets. What do you think those doors lead to? Disneyland, I think. Oh, that's hell? Yeah, that's exactly where it goes. <laughs> Who needs a, needs a five hour flight? <laughs> Just take a door on the people mover and you're in Disneyland. Oh, those were the doors we were talking about. Lights off. Can never see. We honestly just keep on getting stopped in like the best places. Look at this. This is our third time getting stopped on one ride in the people mover. If we don't get to walk off this ride now, like three times, I mean three strikes. I think we're owed at least one walk off. Yeah. This is honestly the best view, like the most beautiful view you could have walking off. If you go that way, if you go that way, not so much. And your shirt blends in with the wall. Look at that. Can't see anybody. Right Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> well, it looks like we're not gonna get to walk off the people mover, but it was still a fun ride. We were stopped for a long period of time each time though, so it was cool just to soak it all in. And now I think uh, we're gonna make our way out, head down Main Street and head home. And like I said, I wanna sit down and recap Disneyland Paris. I wanna see Gracie and just kind of relax a little bit. I'm still a little out of it. Still kind of getting accustomed to the time zone changes. I was in three different time zones because Paris is different than London and also of course here. And, and three weeks prior to that, I was in Oregon. So like in the past month, I was in four different time zones. I'm a, I, I, I feel fancy. World traveler here. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Look at this. <laughs> Hello, I'm looking for a dog named Gracie. Has anyone seen one? Oh, there she is! Woohoo! There she is! Crazy goo! <laughs> Let me tell you guys something. Gracie loves these stairs. I don't know why, but sometimes we just sit here because she likes it so much. Wait, get your butt in the air. She got a butt in the air like that, huh? You miss me? Huh? Huh? I just kissed my dog. <laughs> so tell me all about it. What did you do when I was gone? How was Uncle Sean? Huh? Yeah? Fun times? Yeah, yeah? Where are we running to? Why are we running? It looks like we're running! <laughs> now that we are back home, just like I mentioned, I wanted to sit down and recap my trip with you guys. Share some of the things that I learned and also talk about some of the things I love doing and also things I didn't like so much. And I don't want to just talk about Disneyland Paris. I want to talk about my whole trip to London, to Europe, Star Wars Celebration. It was such a core memory for me, a core moment. I'm going to look back on this forever and just be so happy knowing that I got to do these incredible things. And I have my videos to like look back on. That's the best thing about making videos. You know what I mean? Because I'm going to be able to, you know, pull those out or press play on TV, kind of like a, a photo album. You know how like my mom, she used to have photo albums of us as kids. And every once in a while, we used to gather together and we used to open up the photo album and we used to look at all the pictures and be like, you remember that? But now we have like a visual one where we get to just press play and get to relive those moments. And also I get to share them with you. So it's incredible that I get to actually make these videos so that I'll be able to look back on. And, and who knows, maybe down the road, 
if I end up having a family or anything like that, I want to show like kids that can be like, you know, hey, look, these are the things that I did, you know, and like stuff like that. I think it would be really, really awesome. But anywho, it was back to the, the trip, you know, being, you know, leaving the country for the very first time. It was so awesome, especially going to London. Like, you know, the first time I left the country, a lot of people go to like, you know, Canada or Mexico or, you know, places like that. I, I got to go to London and it was incredible the the jet lag really hit me hard the first day like when we landed uh in uh, uh heathrow because that's where we ended up heathrow the airport and uh when we landed i just stayed awake for 24 hours we just went out we went to brixton i think that's where we just spent the night kind of hanging out and shopping and that area was really cool i actually liked it. there was a lot of shops a lot of people told me i shouldn't go there though it was kind of funny but there was this really cool barbecue restaurant we went to and i wasn't making a video yet because like i said i just kind of landed i was a little delirious i tried to sleep on the plane and i had plenty of space like i had plenty of space to actually sleep but i couldn't do it i was just i was a little restless and i was excited and uh yeah, it was the the flight was definitely uh, definitely a, a shocking thing, but I would do it again. The, I mean, the flight's definitely worth it. Um, so we ended up in uh, Brixton, and um, it was cool hanging out down there. And then we uh, woke up the next day and started off Star Wars Celebration. Star Wars Celebration was amazing. So many fans just together hanging out, and I was at the Roosevelt's booth, and uh, I. On Instagram also in my video too I let a lot of people know that you know I would be there to come say hi and so many people showed up uh, honestly I, I would have never have imagined that many people would want to say hi to me and that was great I felt like I was just talking like <coughs> non-stop so I'm so sorry if you came and I just kept on talking I, I'm, I, I like to talk a lot but uh, it was great. Star Wars Celebration was awesome. I got to meet uh, Hayden Christensen, which is really cool. And I also got to meet uh, Ian McDermott, too. Uh, I guess, so I got to meet Darth Vader and also the Emperor. Oh, I got my picture right here. Yoop. Look at that. That's me being pretty fancy. Yep. I was super nervous. And it's really cool because... We were in the hallway and uh, they were just standing out there and we were just like hanging out next to them. And then I walked in right behind uh, Hayden Christensen and he was like so warm, welcoming. Like he walked in front of me and then turned around and he just smiled at me and was just like, and I just walked up and I took my photo. I said, thank you. And then I left. I didn't know what to do. I was shocked. I was, I was stunned. I was too stunned to speak. But Star Wars Celebration was awesome. And then hanging out in London, going around exploring all the different markets, like uh, Borough Market was fantastic. And then uh, some of the pubs we got to visit, going down and hanging out around uh, Buckingham Palace. I loved all of it. And the day that I took the transportation, that was such an amazing time. Literally, I was like, okay, Tonight we are leaving to head to Paris and I want to go explore the city and I just decided to just go for it just kept on taking transportation basically to wherever caught my attention and it ended up being one of the best days of my life literally I had so much fun and of course at the end of the day hanging out and going around exploring London we hopped on the Eurostar and that was my first time riding a train too the thing that really was getting to me is the fact that when you're in London there's all these countries surrounding you that you can get to easily, like easily, way easier than it would be to go to a different state here in the United States. Like I could have went to Amsterdam, Belgium, Germany, Italy, and it would have been like a less time than for me to go to California from Florida. And I was like, wow, I can see the world. So like going to Eurostar and taking the train, um, I saw another train that was going to go to Amsterdam. I'm like, wow, I could just literally go to Amsterdam right now and be there in an hour. And it was just, it was blowing my mind. So that's why I want to go back because I want to enjoy all around the United Kingdom. I'm going to go outside of like the city and stuff like that. So there's definitely another trip planned coming soon. But once we got to Paris, it was great. Um, Disneyland Paris isn't in Paris. It's actually like 45, maybe an hour away. So we ended up 
staying in Paris and just spending one night in Paris and enjoying the sights and the sounds and I made a video of that that was fantastic we got to do some incredible things um, the food wasn't that great I always thought you know French food would be good maybe I wasn't hitting up some of the good spots like I uh, we went to one restaurant that was actually pretty decent the pizza wasn't good but that's not really French food but they had like onion soup I should have gotten some duck somewhere that would have been nice you know I think more or less we didn't get to do a lot of the like hidden gem stuff like that like we wanted to go like to the Eiffel Tower and stuff like we wanted to be like little tourists you know we went to Moulin Rouge and that was an awesome show I was very 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 surprised by it because you know I always I, I love the movie and I loved Ewan McGregor and everything like that the show was very cool though it was like heart racing there were stunts and it was really fun um and then uh yeah we decided to go to disneyland paris i stayed at the art of marvel the hotel new york that was a nice hotel uh i wouldn't say it's the best hotel for the price because i mean maybe it is for people that are traveling to disneyland paris from uh like other countries because you know hotel new york I, I can see like hotels that have like that Manhattan, New York style to it anywhere. But it, I, you know what I mean? It was cool. The Marvel aspect was only the best part about it. It was super close to the uh, parks, but I would have loved to stay at the Disneyland Paris Hotel, but that was closed at the moment. They're doing a refurbishment. So we're definitely gonna go back and do the Disneyland Paris Hotel. Um, but Disneyland Paris was so much fun. Very tiny park. I mean, it was so tiny. Like there was like, you can basically get everything done I would say in a day, honestly, maybe a day and a half. And Calif uh, not California Adventure, Walt Disney Studios is even smaller. So you could, you know, you can literally plan like a two-day excursion where you the first day you do Disneyland Paris, and then the second day you do Walt Disney Studios, and you could probably be done with Walt Disney Studios if you rope drop by noon, and then go back to Disneyland Paris and do the things that you didn't get to do. And we had three days there, and I got a lot accomplished. In fact. I don't think I, yeah, the only two, maybe two rides in Walt Disney Studios I did not ride was the uh, RC, uh, the Cars one, and the uh, Parachute, only because it started raining, so they were closing them. And then in Disneyland Paris, um, well, in Disneyland Park, I think I did all the rains. Oh, I didn't, I didn't ride the train, and I didn't get to see the Lion King show. I wanted to do that. So, I mean, I, I could have done it if I just had more like more time but uh you know when you're filming and stuff like that it'll slow it down a little bit but i enjoyed my time there the food in the park was not good though the food itself like i went to waltz was very good and also i went to pim's kitchen the buffet over in walt disney studios that was fantastic but uh the, the like the quick service food it seems like they're batching everything but they don't have the amount of guests to actually batch it like i always look back in the windows and i see everything just sitting there but there's not like lines of people you would see at like disneyland or walt disney world so it kind of sits there for a little bit and the quality itself wasn't that great either i was a little shocked so there's definitely room for a improvement there but the park is beautiful like the castle and then all the different areas the phantom manor the big thunder mountain pirates of the caribbean and hyperspace mountain are far superior rides than the ones that we have i was so shocked it was absolutely incredible tony baxter really led the lead on that park and he did such a great job main street was beautiful they had a dapper dance barber shop they had a paddy wagon they had a police car i really loved it a lot and i i feel like a lot of people say it's the prettiest park i really think it is now i can't wait because i want to do tokyo i want to do disney tokyo uh tokyo sea i want to do uh hong kong disney and i want to do shanghai i want to do all the disney parks i'm i'm i'm, I'm halfway there uh, crazy to say that i am halfway there to saying that i got to go to every single disney park so I think, we're, I, I mean, I, I gotta do it, I gotta do it. I'm so bitten by this travel bug, like 
it's incredible. Never being able to like leave the States. It's not never being able to, it's just something I never got the opportunity or chance to do, you know, and now I just, there's this great big beautiful world out there that I want to explore and I just want to go and see everything and uh, I want to keep making videos and share them with you guys and I think it would be cool, not just like Disney theme parks either, but I want to go to different countries and experience different cultures and just learn things because it really is fascinating and I get so excited and I get emotional about it too because it's something I never thought I would ever be able to do and here I am, you know, doing a European vacation. <laughs> it was incredible. But yeah, overall, like I said, it was amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos that I made. Um, I got to put out quite a few and um, yeah, I'm gonna keep making videos just like that and keep it going. We have some big trips already coming up for this year. I know this is a long, long talk. I said I was gonna do it, but look at, we're, I, I think I'm at like 11 minutes now. Holy moly, okay. But yeah, so uh, yeah, big plans coming up. We're gonna be doing more trips. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos that I've been making and uh, yeah, I enjoyed making them. So I guess we'll see you next time. Bye.